Your story is unbelievable to me, and it's astonishing that you decided to go ahead with the New York City Marathon. I know that was still very important for you to do, but 26.2 miles <laughs> after you had just found out what a, a couple of weeks before that your Hodgkin's lymphoma had come back. What went through your mind when you got the news this time around? I can't, I can't even begin to yeah. imagine anything. I mean, I beat the first time, and I'm thinking, all right, my life's going great. You know, I'm living, moving forward, TV shows, amazing race, all this stuff, and then bang, you're like slapped in the face all over again. And obviously, you know, anger and frustration, and, you know, I'm scared, and just, I just don't want to have to go through this again, really. But you did it, uh, the marathon, anyway, yeah. and, and, and you, you finished. I mean, we're looking at these amazing yeah. pictures here. Oh, there it is. And so you're in treatment now. We were just talking a moment ago. You feel good. I feel good. I'm on this, you know, new th chemotherapy called SGN35. It's a smart targeted therapy. So in terms of, you know, how the side effects are, it's not as it's bad. It's not as dragging what, you, know, you not down. Not my hair, which is a good thing. And, and I, I have to say, only knowing you for a short <laughs> time now, you haven't seemed to have lost your positive outlook, which is always a, a fantastic thing. And you're involved with so much. You're an ambassador for Stand Up for Cancer, as I mentioned. Your nonprofit group, which is called Grassroots Soccer, that helps to stop the spread of HIV. Such an inspiring example for Thank young you. people and I'm so glad you're getting that message out and and so many people are wondering how you got through the race yeah, I on mean, the chemo treatment. I was training up to this point, right? And so I'm not going to let some like silly little diagnosis of cancer slow me down. So of course I'm going to run the marathon. We have a team of 70 runners in there. We raised over $220,000 for grassroots soccer, which is great. But I really just want to send like that message of hope to people out there. If you're going through a similar situation, don't let cancer slow you down. You know, don't let it sideline you. You know, like take advantage, be empowered by it. Use all that anger and frustration and turn it against it. You know, I wrote, F, you know, F cancer on my shoes and I was running on it the whole race. And it's just that positive mindset, that gladiator attitude I think you need to have going through stuff like this. And of course, we saw you on Survivor, yeah. and we saw you on Amazing Race with your lovely girlfriend, Jenna. H have being involved in those shows somehow helped you internally with your battle? Yeah, I mean, for me, you know, going public with something like this was a little bit of a tough decision. Like, it's a really gross, disgusting time of your life. You didn't know what happened if you opened your life to complete strangers, but I realized that sharing my story, you know, maybe the, my details of my life might have the power to heal others out there yeah. and by going on these shows I have the incredible like fan support of all the Survivor fans, Amazing Race fans and the response to this has been overwhelming and so many people praying for me, cheering for me, rooting for me, it's been unbelievable. Well they always say it's all about the energy you have within and that comes from without and you clearly have a lot of people rooting for you. Ethan, it's great to meet you. Thank, Thank you so you. much for being with us.